Today I thought I would show you some encaustic paints. Uh, usually I'm searching for alternative methods to show you for coloring with encaustic and so I thought it would be fun to use uh, more traditional colors today and also uh, it's part of my giveaway kit for the new abstracted workshop. I'm giving away uh, one encaustic kit uh, with handmade encaustic paints from right here in the studio. So as you can see here, I just add the encaustic paints right to my griddle and melt them right on the griddle. And if I want them a little more translucent, uh, they're very rich and pigmented and opaque. And so if I want them a little more translucent or like a glaze, I just add some clear encaustic medium like I did uh, right here to the light green. And these colors are made right here in the studio, and uh, these are part of the giveaway for the encaustic kit uh, that you can enter to win on the blog, Plays With Paper, and you can also enter to win a spot, one free spot in the abstracted uh, online workshop, which starts July 1st. given this crayon board three to four coats of white encaustic medium um, and fused in between each layer and I usually do this before starting uh, any painting and now I'm going ahead and adding uh, two to three coats of the sea green it would be fun on this first piece to uh, use a stencil that I had and some gold leaf flakes from the craft store. adding some uh, pan pastels to this uh, in sort of a rust color to go with the gold to fill in the rest of the stencil. is a dry brush technique and I just keep building and building on this for several minutes with a dry brush uh, to add texture and contrast. Just paint over it and add another layer. 
for lots more layers. So I always am working on multiple pieces at once and that way uh, when my other encaustic pieces are needing a break and need to cool down, I always have a piece that I can uh, still work on and it helps keep, it, keep that energy flow up in the studio as well so I don't have to constantly uh, stop and wait. Mm -hmm. 